Alrighty, hi everyone. Welcome to the slightly impromptu vlog. You might be slightly confused because I am in work clothes, but we are in the car, all three of us. We are headed to Fungamata. I was not planning to do a vlog for this, but I realized that I know a lot of you guys really want to see more of New Zealand. And this is one of our favorite places in New Zealand. So congrats, I decided to bring you guys along. It is Friday night. We are going to be at the place that we're staying at in about 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys soon and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Alrighty, good morning everyone. Um, it is Saturday morning here. It is still quite rainy outside. Hmm. It just means clear up um, in a few hours. As you can see, the place we're staying is super nice. This is a family friend's place. So we're really excited to be here. So I'm gonna get some sourdough mixed up, um, some coffee made. I'm gonna wait for the others to wake up because they're still being sleepy. And then even though it's raining, this little guy is desperate to get outside. So we're gonna head to the beach. Okay, firstly, I'm gonna say, I would not hate having this set up normally to be like recording stuff in the kitchen for you guys. This, this is very nice. Okay, sourdough, let's do it. Okay, so you see how it's floating on the water? That is a good starter. All right, now I better concentrate on how much I actually need in here. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Este is bajo al café. Bitte. Alles gut? Yeah. Danke. What time is it? It is 7.30. Okay. Yeah, no, we probably... Yeah, no, this would be a good time to go, because otherwise everything else will get a bit late. Okay, so we're just covering this in a sea towel. And then we'll do a fold when we get back. And as you heard me say in German, first I need a coffee. <laughs> I am so glad that my phone is waterproof because it is still raining. Ooh, it kind of stopped for a bit there, but it's back raining again. But we are all at the beach. We all made it. So we got Josh, we got my sister, we got um, her fiance. So soon to be my brother-in-law and of course Bailey. So it's still raining. It's a little bit chilly. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having a good time. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Okay, okay, now we gotta do the smile so people can compare and see if we look the same. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing that since like, oh, since you were probably five when you first started school at the same school as me, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my goodness. We get like same forehead, um, eyebrows, eyebrows, someone said chin. Oh my god, we got the dimply chin. <laughs> oh, it's so good to have you here at the beach. As we're walking around, we have been finding, I think that these are, did you say tortoise? Yeah. Okay, tortoise and a puppy. So this is what we call in Māori kai moana. So kai being food, moana being the sea. So seafood. So we have in my jumper that I was trying to keep clean, Tessa just lights the shell, um, a little collection of kai moana. So welcome to New Zealand, I suppose. We carried on walking along the beach for a while and although it was cold and rainy, it was so breathtaking. Okay, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. After the beach, we went back home, showered, got warm, and then head into town to grab some brunch. It was really nice to just sit and chat and catch up. And then we came back home, my sister and her fiance headed off, and we made it inside just before the rain because it was pelting down. Middle of summer, I know, but at least we had some other stuff available to keep us entertained while we waited. Between the rain, we managed to get to the supermarket, get some zero alk bubbles, make some food, and then head back down to the beach for our evening walk.
It's amazing how different the beach can look between morning and nighttime. Both are still so stunning, especially the difference here between the rainy side and the sunny side, but we just love this place. All right, good morning. It is the next day, so it's Sunday, and we are about to head off to the beach. Oh, I think this is gonna be a really nice day. We might even get like for a swim. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, so we are back in the kitchen. It's day two. I am loving this. This is so nice. But anyway, it's breakfast time and I was going to make porridge, but when I get excited about something, I can't leave it alone. So the shellfish that we got yesterday, let me just show you. So you leave them in water overnight and they spit out all of the sand and stuff. Um, the the two or two are close up, but then the pippies, see, stick out their little tongues. So they've been spitting out their sand all night. So I'm going to make these into tua tua fritters, which I've never actually made. I've had before, but are really, really awesome. So let's do that. All right, okay, here we are. Moment of truth. That's really good. Mm. We then just hung out for a bit. Bailey was shedding a lot, so we sat in the sun together and I gave him a good old little brush. We then headed into town and we found that there was a market on, which was surprising. We didn't know about this. So Bailey got to say hi to some friends. I ended up buying this really cute chopping board and then we headed back home. Dinner was homemade sourdough, homemade pasta, yes I did roll it up by hand, and a homemade vegan bolognese sauce. We then of course headed down to the beach. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys when we went for a swim around lunchtime, but it was stunning. This time I did bring a bucket so that I could collect some more Kai Moana and it was a lot of fun. Bailey was definitely trying to help me. Um, he didn't find too much though. The next morning we packed up and headed home and it was just a stunning day as we were driving through the Coromandel back up to Auckland. It's honestly so nice here. We were only here for two and a half days but that time feels like a week. It, it's just so relaxing and just one of our favourite places. So thank you guys so much for joining us and I'll see you again soon. Bye!